Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Ma'am, that is not okay. <coughs> so in today's video, we're gonna do our makeup and I have a few different techniques I've picked up. So I'm gonna talk about that, plus some new products that I really love. Um, not me cradling Storm like this. She's probably like, like who are you talking to? Can you imagine like what dogs actually think? Like she's probably like, oh, you're just in the room just talking to yourself. Um, but yeah, so let's do a little makeup. Nine times out of 10, I'm doing my foundation first and I always color correct, do you guys know this? I found a new product though. <laughs> so this is Makeup Forever, you can see. Hmm. She's been using it, okay? Um, it just says HD Skin, but it comes in two different shades. I have the darker shade, and I like to apply this around my mouth. So you can mix the two. I like to mix these two, or layer them. So I'm gonna apply the orange first. I, I can't even trust this monitor, honey. Mm -mm. And you can see, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I have like a lot of discoloration or just darkness around my mouth. So that's why I do this. And then I just add the concealer. This is like a concealer slash foundation slash whatever you want it to be. It's one of those kits. Like if you're a makeup artist, I feel like this would be really good to have. I have like five foundations in rotation. Um, not even kidding. Estee Lauder light double wear I love. I'm just gonna tell you guys what I love, okay? Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation. You can tell I use that. Fenty Ease Drops. This is like a tinted moisturizer. Summer Fridays Tinted Moisturizer. I really like the tinted moisturizers when I cover my face like this. Like, I feel like I don't really need much, so this does a trick. Mega Forever HD Skin. The Kosas, Kosas Foundation's good too. I just don't have it on my little desk. But there's a lot of really good foundations out there. And I feel like if you're doing a lot of correcting, you just put a tint on, honey. For the sake of trying something new, this is Summer Fridays number seven. It is a little bit dark. I have a little bit of a tan that's fading, but I'm also going on vacation for my birthday. <laughs> so I'm gonna have another tan, okay? So yeah, that's foundation and I'm just gonna apply it all over. Keep in mind my face is a little bit lighter than my body, like she's, she's tan, okay? Golden goddess over here so this is a tint but you can see it has like a little bit of coverage and it makes your skin look super hydrated this is dose of colors number 22 concealer this is an oldie but a goodie okay so i i used to wear this and then i stopped and now i'm back to it i think i like it because it's a little bit like lighter weight on my eyes this. I always put concealer here too. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we haven't like talked in a minute, okay? But the tea on Beverly Hills Housewives, hype it hot, okay? It's such a good dramatic season and I've kind of, not, is the word scaled back? I stopped watching as much of the Housewives. Like I watch like one franchise and that's it. Just cause sometimes the drama is just too much. Like we're all too busy for this BS. That's kind of how I feel. Um, but occasionally I want a little drama for, you know, just for kicks and giggles. Okay, this is Sigma Buttermilk Setting Powder. I'm loving this and this little mini Makeup Forever sponge, okay? So you put concealer on like I did. Maybe you're watching Housewives while you do it. Look at it like this. And then what I'm gonna do, okay, I need a mirror here, is we'll make sure that there's no creasing, okay? So this has to happen right after you put concealer on and then I'm just gonna press the concealer with this setting powder, like so. There's something magical about this little puff. I also like to blot my face, like in areas where I get really shiny, I'll just like, <laughs> yo, Storm's over here tripping, okay? I'm about to put her in her little room. And yes, this is just my nose ring, like, ugh. Okay, so this is the secret ingredient. This is one size medium dark 4G powder. It's a lot lighter, and what I do is I grab that same powder puff, Okay, and then after, you know, the setting powder, you just get the powder puff and like press under the eye, like so. So I'm not gonna like blend this in. I'm just gonna let this kind of sit here, have a little moment. Okay, if you haven't got it already, I came out with the brush set with Sigma. So the six essential eyeshadow brushes that you need. I love it. You also get a bag. So I'm gonna start with my angled brush. No matter how many times I wanna use a pencil in my brows, I always go back to an angled brush and either powder or a pomade. This is KVD Pomade in Light Brown. I always like to go lighter in my brows because I have a lot of brow hair. If I go too dark, the oils in my hair darken the product a little bit and I just look like I have like angry 
brows. I'm using my Sigma Large Shader to apply concealer as my eyeshadow base. This is something that I feel like it's just, I don't know, convenient to do. I like, I love using concealer. Some people be like, oh, use the actual eyeshadow base. Like sometimes I do, but most of the time I'm like, okay, concealers there, boom. I'm gonna set the concealer with my setting powder, the same powder I used under my eyes. Dang, you know what I forgot to do? Maybe it's not too late. Okay, so I love this Laguna for cream bronzer. I don't use it all the time because Honestly, I forget. <laughs> like it's one of those steps, like do I have to do it? No, but I like how it looks. So again, 04, there's different shades. So 04, I'm just gonna put a little bit like, ooh, right here. Like let's contour, okay? Even a little bit on my forehead. So yes, I did put a little bit of powder, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Like this is kind of important. So now I'm just gonna kind of like blend it. I'm gonna go through with my sponge and blend it too but this is just like uh, and it looks so good in pictures okay so i'm gonna put a powder on that's a little bit closer to my skin tone this is uoma beauty rich tan so i'm just gonna kind of set the rest of my face with this you can definitely use the lighter powder i just had this here so i'm like let me just use this it's a little darker it'll probably blend better with the contour so well this is my tapered blending brush it's the larger blending brush and i love using this for my crease. So one thing I always talk about, it's blending a bronzer into the crease, okay? That's all you need. Like this is Mocha Mommy by Fenty. I love putting bronzer in the crease. Like it's always my first step in my eye routine. Not me having a whole eye routine. <laughs> okay, but wait, back to housewives. Are we getting sick of reality TV? What do you guys think? Because I feel like a couple of the housewives, I'm just like, mm, I just, it's just too much. I don't even wanna watch this. Salt Lake City, even Dubai is cool. I'll watch it if I have time, but I'm not hooked. Like Beverly Hills, I'm like, oh, I need to see every episode. <laughs> I'm also gonna put a little bit of bronzer under my lash line. I'm gonna use my ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. I love this palette. It's great as just an everyday palette. This isn't new, but it's cute. We're gonna do mattes because why not? Like, I feel like that's also such a trendy topic, you know, like, mattes all matte eyes like everyone's doing it so i'm gonna start with <laughs> hustler on the lid or don't do maybe this one just a light brown on the lid like so if it looks really light in the pan it's probably gonna look white on my eyes so i try and go for a color that's like you know like a light brown and that usually works on my lid i'm using my flat brush from sigma and then using my small sigma blending brush you can see it's a little bit smaller I'm gonna apply a darker brown in the outer corner and a little bit into the outer crease, little V. And I kind of like to use the shadow or use the brush to kind of like blend the shadow out this way, like that. See how it kind of like, whoop. Okay, I'm switching back to the larger brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend this out, soften it up a little bit. Can y'all hear Storm breathing loud? It's like not even, it's not even like it's a snore, it's like a, like a loud breathing sleep apnea or something. <laughs> okay, I'm switched back to my angle brush and I'm using Onyx from Melt Cosmetics. Um, Sigma also has the Wicked liner I like. Those are my two liners on rotation. But I'm loving the little siren eyes. So it's a wing. There's different ways to do it, but on me, I like to draw a really thin line at the top. And then, uh, what is this called? Point it on the inside of the eye. I'm just pointing, exaggerating the line, bringing it in. I promise it is so hard to talk while you're trying to concentrate on liner. See how I just like pointed it? And then, I don't know why, but I have to do the point first before I wing it out. And then I just wing out the line. Ooh, it went a little crazy, that's okay. So you wanna start with kind of a lot of pressure here and then when you pull out, you kind of lift up the brush. That's the key. And then fill in the wing. Every time I do my wing, it's like a little different. <laughs> like sometimes it's like, this is good. Sometimes it's more of like a Nike swoosh. Sometimes, I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna line the inside waterline and I like using this gel. Sometimes I'll use a pencil. Ooh, look at the eye, like, ooh. -hoo. Typically I would leave it just like this, but I wanna add like a little bit of black to the corner. And this is something that I'll do after I see the look and I'm like, mm, maybe we need a little bit more, you know? So I'm just gonna like right on the edge here. 
like on the corner, just smudge a little bit of black. Just like a little bit. Now I'm using my Sigma pencil brush. Like just like a little bit. I'm going to a couple of concerts in September, maybe even October. I'm trying to go to Usher in Vegas, okay? We're gonna see if that happens. Um, but I feel like this would be like a good concert look. I'm also going to Kendrick Lamar, maybe Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny prices? I'm like, Bad Bunny, you are tripping. Okay, I've already seen the concert on TikTok. <laughs> no, I wanna go because I heard it's like such a good time. So yeah, a lot of concerts coming up and I feel like this is a good concert look or even like a black smoky eye. I think for Kendrick, because it's on my birthday, September 14th, I might do a black smoky eye. I don't know yet. I love these lashes from Lash Dream. I'm like, can you see them? They're called Melody and they're winged. At the end, they're like $7, so I cut a tiny bit off the end, like so. You can cut it from the beginning, everyone's eyes are different. I just like cutting off the end, even though the end is like what's winged. It just works better for my eye sheet. So you always wanna apply the glue, wait for it to get a little tacky, and then look down like I'm doing. And the edge of the lash should be at the edge of your lash. Ooh. And I like my lash to start right about here. It starts to irritate my eye when it comes too far in. Okay, I'm gonna show you my little bronzer trick while my lashes dry. So get a little bronzer on your brush. This is, of course, my brush set. <laughs> and then I like to put a little bit of a line right there. Do you see it? It creates that kind of, you know, little, boop. that's a birthmark by the way. I'm like, what is that? Um, on the sides here, I'm just gonna draw like a really light, thin line. So I think the nose contour has been, see how just a little bit of bronzer? Like sometimes I, especially on TikTok, I look on TikTok and I see like, it's like brown, brown, and then brown, it just looks crazy. Okay, some of y'all, it, it looks crazy. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to help you, okay? It doesn't need to be like an aggressive contour. Just really light, like get your bronzer. And right now I'm just kind of like blending it cause I'm like, oh, it looks a little, like a little too dark, okay? And then grab a mini sponge or whatever is easier. Sometimes I see people do this with a brush. Grab your setting powder, it's on the sponge. I'm gonna turn this way and I'm just gonna draw a little line down the center and then use that same brush I used to contour with and just clean up the line. Ooh, ooh that looks a little crooked, honey. Yeah, boom. And I'll let that sit for a minute. I don't feel like I need a lot of bronzer because I put the cream bronzer on, but I'm just gonna kind of go over that just a little bit. A little bit, and we're gonna add some blush. Okay, there's a blush coming out in a couple weeks that I've been using like every day, and you guys always comment like, what blush is it? And I never say anything, because I can't. Okay, because it's not out yet, but when it comes out, whoo, you're gonna lose your mind. But until then, I'm gonna use something else. Typically, I just put the blush on, just not even mention it, but because YouTube, you guys are special, I'm letting you know something. A really dope blush is coming, okay? For today's video, I'm gonna apply, what is this? She's Vibrant from Patrick Ta. Comes with a cream and a powder. I never use a cream, I just use a powder. Boom, boom, boom. This is so cute. Okay, now I'm just gonna dust the little bake, the little mini bake off. Okay, I've been loving this setting spray from Caudalie. You can see it's, it's almost empty, but I am obsessed. So I always set before mascara. And yes, I did put that much on. This is a new bronzer, or I think it's a bronzer slash highlighter that I got from Melt. It's called Nova. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my nose and that's it. Lately, I've just been highlighting here, sometimes my mouth, but I haven't been doing a lot of cheek highlighter just cause I feel like it's, I don't wanna say it's outdated, but that like hurts my soul to say, but you know, just a lot of cheek highlighter is not it right now. Okay, a little bit, but not a lot. Now that we've set the makeup, uh, we can put some mascara on. This is from Rare Beauty. I love this mascara. Obsessed. I, it's the brush. Like this type of brush, ooh, that's it. Okay, that's all you need. I love my bottom lashes, so I'm always gonna, boom, make them stand out. All right, one of my favorite things to do, lips. I found a new lip liner. This is called Strong. I think I've been calling it Supreme for a while. Um, but it's called Strong from Rare Beauty, and it is such a good nude. I like to make my liner thick, so I round out the top, and instead of leaving it like this, I fill it in a little bit. Helps it look blended. So that's how it should look before you put any lip products on, and I think because 
I mean, should we do pink? We're gonna do light pink, cause I just freaking, or nude. Let's do light pink, okay? This is Truffle from Dose of Colors. I love their lipsticks. This is a velvet mousse. So I just put it on the bottom. See how it's kind of like bright and then black. And then I'll grab the lip liner and just kind of go over the outside. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Like, look at that liner. Ooh, okay, so to finish the look, one of my favorite lip glosses, I wear this all the time, talk about it all the time. This is Fenty Glow. Um, it's a light pink. So whenever I want my lips to look a little bit more pink, I use this one. Cute. This is a look, okay? This is one of those looks I feel like is just like good for any occasion. Oh, and boom, look at my nails. Gel X, did it myself. Eh, shout out to me. <laughs> so here is the finished look. I'm obsessed. Like, I love teaching you guys and showing you like new tips and tricks that I picked up. The biggest one is the under eyes. Like, I feel like putting the setting powder and then the pressed powder with the Makeup Forever sponge has kind of changed how my under eyes looked. It looks so smooth. Also, the liner right here, like, I'm feeling her, okay? Thanks again for watching. Last but not least, I almost forgot how to do my little sign off, honey. <laughs> Strut and slay.